Hi everyone, I'm Navneet, one of the co-members of Google Developer Students Club of Army Institute of Technology, Pune, specializing in Android and Cloud and the facilitator for the 30 days of cloud program. So few students were recently facing some issues in the last challenge lab of the last quest of the second track, which is explore machine learning models with explainable AI challenge lab. So I have made a step-by-step -step tutorial to tackle this and get you final skill badge for the rewards. So let's get started. Click on start lab. Prove that you are not a robot. Use your subscription. And log into your temporary cloud account. Wait for your account to be set up. So now navigate to AI platforms. Open notebooks. Choose a new instance. Uh, then select the TensorFlow Enterprise 2.3 LTS with LTS without GPUs. Accept all the default configuration and click on create. Now wait for your instance to be created. Once it's done, you will see the open JupyterLab option right here. A few moments later. As you can see, the Open Jupyter Lab option has appeared. So click on it and wait for your notebook to open. In the meanwhile, you have to clone this repository. So copy the command. Click on terminal. Paste this command here and wait for the download to finish. It may take some time depending on your internet speed. Now, once it's done, uh, click on training data analyst folder, then on quest, then on day, then open this notebook file. Now run the command one by one patiently. Now here, you have to create and train your own TensorFlow model. So first of all, run this. Then you can uh, head over to this repository and copy these commands. I will mention the uh, link uh, for the commands for the uh, this repository's uh, link in the description. So please check it out. Now run this command and wait for the training to be over.
Now you have to create uh, and train your own second TensorFlow model. So again, I will include the repositories link for this repositories link in the description. So check it out. Paste the command here and run it. Now, most of the students face uh, the problem in the later section, as in this section. What I would suggest is before you move ahead, go to storage and create a bucket with your GCP ID. So, go here, storage, create a bucket. With your own storage or uh, with your own GCB project ID, click on create. Now, once your bucket has been created, head over here, replace uh, your bucket name here, right here. Now, run these three commands. So now you have to deploy the models to AI platform. So before you move ahead, make sure you have created your bucket properly and have compiled these last three sections. So let's create a cell here. Head over to the repository and copy the commands from part three and paste it here. Run it. Now create another cell just under it. Create the commands from part four and run it. So this will create your first AI platform model, which is the complete model with the necessary configurations mentioned in the documentation right here, as you can see. So wait for the model to be created. It takes some time. A few minutes later. So once your AI model has been completed, it will show down here. Now you have to create your second AI platform model, uh, which is the limited model. So create a cell here. Run the command from part five. Run this command. Now create the second cell here. Again, I will include the repositories link in the description, so check it out. So run this. And this is your last model, which you have to deploy to the AI platform. Moments later. So once uh, your limited, uh, limited AI platform model is completed, it will show down here. So you have successfully uh, like completed the necessary commands from this lab. You have to wait 10 to 20 seconds. Your school, uh, score will be updated right here. So I will check here. This is updated. This is completed. And this is also completed. So congratulations, you have completed the last lab and earned your final badge. Uh, if you have completed track one already, you can end this lab. Read this lab five stars. So if you face any error, please follow the video correctly and the procedures mentioned in it. And make sure you have created the bucket previously before running those commands. 
If this video helped you out, a like and a comment will surely be appreciated. Make sure you share this video to your colleagues who are facing the same problems in this particular lab. Also, only a small per a percentage of viewers who watch the videos are actually subscribed. So if this video helps you out, consider subscribing, it's free and you can always change your mind. Enjoy your 30 days of cloud everyone.